This presentation is about the energy production through Emden Mayer of Pathway. Since we are aware that RBC doesn't have the mitochondria, which is known as the main source of energy, it then relies on an aerobic glycolysis in order for us to produce ATP. ATP is important because the slower of production it could get, RBC grows and become old and it will soon be removed from the circulation. Hereditary non-spericitic anemia was identified as hereditary deficiency of nearly every glycocytic enzyme where short lifespan of RBC is noticeable due to its commonality with every result. The anaerobic pathway of glucose metabolism is where the two molecules of ATP are generated for each molecule of glucose which is also converted to two molecules of lactate. Its main goal is to convert three carbon atoms of pyruvate. To start with, glucose will enter the RBC without energy expenditure with the help of transmembrane protein GLUT1. Once it is inside, the first phase of glycolysis will start, where glucose will use the enzyme hexokinase or glucokinase and will produce glucose 6-phosphate, where ATP is first used. From there, it will undergo a summarization and will yield fructose 6-phosphate. Phosphofructokinase-1 will act and convert it to fructose-1,6-bisphosphate, where another ATP was consumed. Aldolase will split it into dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde triphosphate. DHAP is still capable of being converted to GA3P with the help of triose phosphate isomerase. This first phase of glycolysis is more of energy utilization. To continue with the second phase, glyceraldehyde triphosphate is deposphorylated and will turn to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate where NAD will turn into NADH. 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate will then undergo phosphorylation where ATP is produced and will yield 3-phosphoglycerate. The third phase will isomerize 3-phosphoglycerate to 2-phosphoglycerate. Enolase will act and produce phosphoenol pyruvate where enzyme pyruvate kinase will convert it to pyruvate and generate another ATP. From there, we could either have aerobic glycolysis and it will continue into Krebs cycle. Or we could have an aerobic glycolysis where it will use lactate dehydrogenase that will form lactic acid. The end products of glycolysis are 2-NADH, 2-ATP was used, and 2-ATP was produced.